fast. Stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Al-Qa'il, inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun ala al-Nabi. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. And welcome to a new episode about the time and the, the Ramadan checklist. And today we will try to talk about something really important in our daily life and something important for the, our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, threatening those whom had hard heart due to not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he said, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ So if, you're, if you don't really remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so your heart will get hard, and that's not good for the Muslim functioning heart. And alhamdulillah, at least we do it every, every, after each and every salah, 33 times, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. But today, you know, I like to report a hadith, Qudsi, uh, uh, Rasulullah you know uh, it's a hadith Qudsi and narrated by Al-Bukhari when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, said talking about himself Ana abdi bi wa ana ma'ahu idha dhakarani. so my servant when he mentions when he mentions my name I'm with him whether ma'ahu idha dhakarani fi nafsihi dhakartuhu fi nafsi if a Muslim remembered Allah to himself, by himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do the same. And if a Muslim remembered Allah with the group, with the congregation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention his name in the group and the congregations. So how, how important, it's very, very, very important. You cannot live without such a pleasure and such a like blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Jibra'il came to me and said, O Muhammad, tell your people to raise up their, their voice bit takbir, when they to say Allahu Akbar and so forth. And one of these tabi'een said, I know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember me. And they told him, what are you talking about? I know for, for sure the time and the minute when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned my name or remember me. And they said, they told him, how? Then he replied by saying, don't you know what Allah said in the Quran? Fadhkuruni adhkurkum. Remember me. I will remember you. Subhanallah. So if your name Muhammad or Saeed or Abdullah or Abdul Qadir, whatever name you have, and you say, Ya Rabb, I remember you. So then they said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention your name. And وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى How important it is to be mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah remembered you. And remember the famous hadith when malaika patrolling the area, patrolling the earth and they see a halaqa and people sat in that halaqa and they will descend upon them. مَجْتَمَعَ قَوْمٌ فِي بَيْتٍ مِّن بُيُوتِ اللَّهِ يَذْكُرُنَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا حَفَّتْهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ That the angels will come to surround these people doing the dhikr or remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reciting the Qur'an. The Qur'an and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, every time you say subhanallah or alhamdulillah, you just you put something in a jannah for your saving account. So the more we remember Allah during, especially during this great month, the month of Ramadan, Shahrul Maghfira, Shahrul Ata, the month of when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, will forgive all your previous sin. If you're really willing to, 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 to practice and to perform actual siyam with a good intention and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah acceptance. And they say, don't, he said, how can I, how can I remember Allah? I don't forget Allah in the first place to remember him. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always with me 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always in my imagination, in my heart, in my tongue, and always, as Rasulullah said, the best I have said, me and the prophets before me, La ilaha illallah. With this, inshallah, I'll leave you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. O oh, one who fasts, stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive.